pancreatic cancer. It remains one of the most difficult cancers to battle. It's taken the lives of Elbrooks Patterson, Aretha Franklin, and some 45,000 Americans each year. Are we any closer to making real progress against the disease? Now's the time. I, I really have to say that now is the time. Good health tonight. Pancreatic cancer remains in the headlines most recently as it challenges Jeopardy's host, Alex Trebek. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to explain why, as more people come forward with their diagnosis, we move ever closer to a solution. Breast and prostate cancer are common, so research funding isn't difficult to find. But for less common and more deadly cancers like pancreatic, research progress is difficult without awareness, especially because there are fewer survivors to carry on the fight. There's so many things that are so different now that, that 12 years ago when I was diagnosed that didn't happen. So I think it's now's the time. I, I really have to say that now is the time. 12 years ago, after Sheila Sky Castleman was diagnosed and treated for pancreatic cancer, she was determined to make a difference and formed the Sky Foundation to raise awareness as well as funding for research into earlier detection and treatment. Sky Foundation is doing very well and we're funding a lot and, um, you know, we're looking to fund, you know, from, you know, really across the country. Dr. Asfar Azmi is a researcher at the Carmanis Cancer Institute whose research is funded by the Sky Foundation. Our focus is on drug discovery and what we do is we identify novel avenues which drive pancreatic cancer and whether we can block it by a drug. One of the drugs his lab is investigating has shown early promise. The combination that we are testing with standard of care with our new drug this uh, showed response in a patient who survived 24 months. Other patients in a similar circumstance only survived 5 to 11 months. We are, you know, uh, at the stage where pancreatic cancer research can only, you know, move in a positive way going forward and success is about to come, it's just a matter of, you know, few years. Sheila says raising money for the battle against pancreatic cancer is greatly assisted when notable people come forward with their diagnoses. I think it helps because people know how scary and deadly a disease pancreatic cancer is. It is. And so I think that the fact that they talked about it and came out about it and um, are willing to talk about it is a huge step forward for pancreatic cancer. Funding from agencies like Sky Foundation, seed funding that allows us to build the critical data to you know, write a bigger grant and then secure funding from external sources is absolutely essential. We are in a very exciting time when it comes to pancreatic cancer research or any research per se. We have an interface of multidisciplinary sciences coming together. Now, Dr. Asmi thinks some of the other areas that show the greatest promise in pancreatic cancer research include immunotherapy, using a person's own immune system to attack the cancer, and the use of improved computational power and essentially artificial intelligence to tailor the most individualized treatment for every patient using the best available information. Dr. Frank McGeorge, back to you. I finally coming along somewhere that it just always seemed like there was no hope for You're so right. so long. You're right. It yeah. can't come quick enough though. Yeah, so well, continue no doubt. with the research. Yep.